Well, hey there, welcome to Crossroads Church. We're so glad that you're here worshiping with us today. Hey, if this is your first time here with us, we wanna say thank you and that we would love to meet with you. So if you would, fill and tear out the Connect card that's located in your bulletin and put it in the offering plate, or you can hand it into an usher and receive a free welcome gift from us. Now, here are some upcoming events that we would like to share with you. Who's ready for an awe moment? We are having a Winter Wonderland Daddy-Daughter Dance January 25th at 6 p.m. here at Crossroads. This is sponsored by the Crossroads Men's Ministry with the proceeds going to help fund long overdue safety and facility upgrades for the STARS Preschool. It will be a fun evening of music, dancing, and refreshments. Tickets can be purchased online at mycrossroads.co and be picked up by the door of the night of the dance. Tickets are only $20. Did you know that Crossroads has an app? Well, guess what? We do, and it's amazing. You can follow sermons on Sunday mornings straight from the e-bulletin. You can tithe, receive important Crossroads information, watch past sermons, and even watch our live stream. You can download the Crossroads Church app by going to your app store and search Crossroads Concord. So if you'd like more info about the events and the life of Crossroads Church, you can go to mycrossroads.co. You can also check us out on social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Finally, you can download the Crossroads Church app by going to your app store and search for Crossroads Concord. Hi, I'm Missy Strayer, chair of the Mission Leadership Team. Our trip to Africa last year was twofold. First, to support our missionaries in the field, we visited Pastor Craig and Pam Looper who live near Nairobi, Kenya. It was truly a blessing for them and for us. But the Mission Leadership Team started taking a more intentional and personal approach to our missionaries by visiting, praying for, and encouraging them. We want to do a better job of our missionary care for our over 20 missionary families that we support today. The second reason for this trip was to plan our next trip this fall to Kenya. Pastor Craig took us to a few of the local outreaches and missionary teams that he works with so that we can figure out how we can partner with them in the fall. We are able to do some prayer walking in the Gong uh, slums, and it was powerful. We were able to pray for a woman named Esther who had been suffering from a stroke since the uh, spring. And within a few moments of prayer intentionally, she went from not being able to move the left side of her body to lifting her arm above her head and gradually walking across the room. We visited a children's home that is in desperate need of assistance a youth mentoring group providing education and hope to get young people out of the despair of the slums. It was definitely a heartfelt and heartwarming trip filled with lots of laughter and tears. So if you're getting a tug at your heart about going on a mission trip, now is the time to move. God is waiting for you just to say yes. Believe me when I say you will not be disappointed. You will come back more blessed than you can even imagine. So if you're interested in going on a trip this year, reach out to me, Nancy Friend, or one of the team leaders that are going on the trips. You will never, ever forget it. Come join us. If you haven't gone on a mission trip, I highly encourage you, if God's leading you in any way, locally, internationally, whatever it takes, follow God's call and go. This church has a fantastic outreach, and Cuba was just one example. There's many others and many choices to go, but I will tell you, it will bless you and the encouragement that you give these people to continue doing what they're doing in these countries is, it's just beyond, it's unbelievable. So go uh, get on the mission team, support them in any way you can and listen to God's calling. Thanks.